announcements. I just want to remind the community, we're on the 288 corridor that on Thursday, January 24, Tech Stop will hold a public meeting to discuss um, how a 288 direct connector to the medical center at it will take the meeting will take place at 3100 Shenandoah. 3100 Shenandoah and District D. The time will be from 6 to 8 o'clock p.m. Again, that will take place on January, I mean, sorry, Thursday, January 24th. So there will be a public meeting about the 288 uh, corridor direct connector. On Saturday, January 26th, uh, Mayor, this is the, the new uh, Police and Clergy Alliance. They will host a citywide town hall meeting with Chief McClellan. It will take place at Lakewood Church on this coming Saturday beginning at 10 o'clock a.m. from 10 to 12 at Lakewood <coughs> Church at 3799 Southwest Freeway. So I know that you did some reorganization with the Clergy Advisory Committee. So this is one of the ways that we're asking all pastors or clergy in the city of Houston to come to the citywide uh, town hall meeting. And this is held specifically <coughs> for you to discuss initiatives with the Houston Police Department on moving forward with this initiative. Again, it's Saturday, January 26th. Police and Clergy Alliance citywide town hall meeting beginning at 10 o'clock a.m. at Lakewood Church. Wednesday, January the 30th, there will be a special call Housing, Sustainable Growth, and Development Committee meeting to discuss the proposed amendments to Chapter 42 and Chapter 10, Protecting Neighborhoods and Encouraging Development, and Chapter 26 for off street parking. Again, this will take place on Wednesday, January the 30th here in City Hall Chambers, and I encourage all my colleagues to please place it on your calendar. Um, if you have any questions or issues, or you need some of your questions addressed concerning Chapter 42 and Chapter um, 26. On this coming Friday night, um, the ladies of Dr. Sigma Daily, many of you know that we celebrate, we are celebrating our 100th year. Um, weekend ago, we celebrated our uh, Founders Day. So this coming Friday night, we will host a special reception for our national president who will be here in the city of Houston. And on Saturday morning, we will have our joint Founders Day celebration for the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta, where our national president, Sarah Cynthia Buckley McIntyre, will be the guest speaker. And this will take place Saturday, the 26th, at the Sheraton Marriott Hotel in Sugarland. So, all my sorrows that are out there, I will see you on this coming Saturday in your magnificent rave. See you Saturday. Also, on Martin Luther King Day was a great day for everyone who celebrated the history of our great leader, our drum major for peace, Dr. Martin Luther King. And I celebrated the event with the Reed Grand opening of the Martin Luther King um, Center, which is located on Reed Road and Martin Luther King. It was a wonderful day. It's a wonderful clinic. The end of my colleagues who have not visited the facility, it is a state-of-the-art facility. It is absolutely beautiful. They also included a new dental center well, there will be patients who have the opportunity to get uh, dental screens. And also, since it is a federally qualified center, that no one will be turned away if you do not have any type of, of insurance. And also, one of the things that I like about this center being located in the heart of District D. Mary, you know that one of our high for calls for service is for people who just need in general uh, doctor care, what they call the ambulance or the uh, the medic, you know, these just basic stuff. So we're asking you all, please, if you live in District D and, and you're not that close to the medical center, please go and visit the Martin Luther King uh, Center, uh, medical center. And also, Mayor, again, thank you, Councilmember Rodriguez. Today, we just passed item number 20 to vote for special assistance to the mayor. And again, I cannot offer how wonderful I believe Mandy is because I had the opportunity to mayor. Um, before I even really knew her, to sit down and really talk to her and also <coughs> to travel with her to other cities to really look at her passion when it comes to homelessness. I mean, when she's in a room, she commands a room with her knowledge. And so I am honored to be able to uh, work beside of her to be able to see her knowledge. And uh, actually, she met me. I didn't know her when I was uh, in grad school. And uh, I needed someone to talk to about homelessness because that's what my research paper was about. And who walked through the door was Mandy. So, uh, Mandy, it's a pleasure, and I look forward to uh, working with you as we continue to move forward in this initiative. Thank you. Thank you.